Hello, everyone. Uh, we will take one more example for the conversion of the given uh, Mealy machine to the Moore machine. So it has been discussed earlier in the previous lectures that uh, when we are converting uh, the Mealy machine to the Moore machine, the number of states may rise uh, as compared to the Mealy machine. So uh, we can see that there is only one transition on state A. So whatever is the output associated with this transition will be the output associated with the state. So I'm saying that the zero oblique zero means this one. It means that uh, zero is the input and zero is the output. So I associate this zero output with this state A. Now on state B, you can see that uh, there is one transition which is having the output one, another transition which is having output one, and there is one transition which is output zero. So we will have to convert this state B to two different state B and B dash. Let's say the B state has the output zero and the B dash state has the output one or the otherwise also what we can say that B state has output one and B dash state has the output zero. So let's make these two states. And after this, we can uh, associate the transitions with these states. Now, let's say the A state uh, with, the trans with, with the input alphabet 1, I go to state B, which produces the output 1. So I will mark it here. Now you can see that there is there are the self loops here with, in which it is said that if I am at the B state and uh, if I take the input 0, I remain at the B state and the output 1 is produced. So I will mark this transition like this. And since B and B dash are the similar states, so B, if it takes Z one, the B dash when it takes one, uh, sorry, B dash when it takes zero, it should also go to state B, which produces the output one. Now, uh, there is one transition which says that if I take input one, I go to state number B. So from B one, I can say that if I get the input one, I will go to state B dash that produces the output zero. And there should be a self loop also at the B dash because on getting the input one, you will produce the output zero. So this actually completes the uh, Moore machine for the given Billy machine. So let's draw the state transition table for this. So A and B are two states out of which A is the initial state. The input symbols are zero and one. The output symbols associated with the different states will be delta. Since I'm taking another state B dash also, that should also be included in this table. So output associated with A is zero, with B it is one, and with B dash it is zero. Now let's mark the transitions. So A on zero remains at A, A on one goes to B. Now B on zero remains at itself and B on one goes to B dash. B dash on 0 goes to B and B dash remains at itself at 1. So this is the state transition diagram, which denotes not only the del, which is the transition, but it represents the output function also. So this is the table for the Moore machine. So I have been reiterating every time that uh, whenever you are taking up any question in the examination, along with this diagram, you should make this table also that will complete your question. So thanks for watching this video. We will take, we'll take more examples in the next lecture.